With the first Hellblade, developer Ninja Theory blurred the border between film and video game, exploring psychosis against the backdrop of Norse mythology. It was a fantastic achievement for a variety of reasons, including a grounded approach to complicated mental health concerns, as well as stunning visuals and performance capture technology. Senua's Saga, Hellblade 2 builds on that premise by taking everything to new heights. It may not accomplish much to advance its main themes, which will frustrate some players, but what Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 does with graphics, gameplay feel, and sound design is undeniably impressive. Hellblade 2 opens up with Senua being kept captive on a slave ship destined for Iceland. Senua's aim is unknown at first, but once liberated from her bindings, she embarks on a journey to halt a cycle of violence and tyranny that has plagued her people and many of Iceland's inhabitants. It's a story that combines the magical and the actual, with gigantic giants serving as metaphors for the control mechanisms that keep people in line, as well as literal giants. Ninja Theory's fearlessness in telling its story sets it apart right away, it's a rich and detailed story that feels unlike anything else in video games up to this moment. Senua's inner voices will dispute her decisions, occasionally assist her to the right outcome, and continually compel her to confront her sanity as she deals with her darkness. Even though Senua's saga Hellblade 2 has the character navigate via predictable paths, it remains intriguing due to the performances. At the halfway mark, however, the tale in Hellblade 2 begins to drag, but not for long. The addition of companions gives Senua's saga a different feel than the first game, as she deals with her own madness alongside characters she may or may not be able to trust. By the end of the game, players will have been asked to reflect on the game's previous events, as well as the decisions Senua made throughout. Whether it lands successfully varies from person to person, but there is no disputing Ninja Theory's big swing here. Rather than turning Senua into a superhero like Kratos, the developers expand on the main themes of the first game, creating something that feels like a smart evolution. Hellblade's progress is most seen in its visually stunning graphics, even with letterboxing to shrink the frame and ostensibly enhance speed, Senua's saga Hellblade 2 is a visual feast with a level of realism that rivals the best in gaming today. Iceland's panoramas are caught in all their lush, rugged wonder, while the more macabre, surreal passages have a terrifying palpability. God rays piercing through greenery, rain pelting uneven terrain, and some of the beautiful flames available. There are plenty of difficult design elements, but Ninja Theory continues to push the boundaries when it comes to landscape and situation. Whereas the original game had more towns, Hellblade 2's levels are more natural, and despite the obvious paths, the surroundings provide a sense of spaciousness. Hellblade 2 is a somewhat straight game, as was its predecessor, yet the visuals and music are never dull. Along with the stunning scenery, the character designs are incredibly detailed and genuine. Senua's character model has so many little details that make her feel authentic, and her face motion is absolutely amazing. The animations in the game are overall excellent, which is critical for a game that aims to be as cinematic as possible. Melina Jurgens, a Game Awards winner, delivers another amazing performance as Senua, and a strong supporting cast joins her. Every element on each character's face is brought to life with perfect precision, yet some of the mouth and eye movements are a bit exaggerated. Hellblade 2's sound design, like its visuals, is among the greatest around. The sound effects and audio cues for puzzles and actions are outstanding, but the combination of Senua's inner voices is what takes the game over the top. The way all of these various thoughts overlap and interact with the game's speech creates one of the most dynamic oral experiences I've ever had. Headphones are advised for good reason. The way everything fits together deserves your complete attention. Making a game that feels theatrical and communicates a complicated tale is difficult, but Senua's saga, Hellblade 2, will face the toughest challenges in developing gameplay that supports its ambitions. There's no doubting that it's a beautiful game, but the gameplay, while improved, remains quite typical. Combat has a satisfying weight to it, 
and the animation work on Senua's sword slashes, dodges, and finishers is deliciously cruel to witness. But the interactive portions of the combat systems will not challenge players, even on the harshest difficulty. Hellblade 2 makes each combat encounter feel like an arena, with the background fading away and foes appearing when it's their turn to fight Senua. You can block or parry attacks and utilize Senua's mirror to pause time when charged, but the battles don't feel really different from one another. The fights are visually thrilling because to the animations, and each sword hit and block has a nice heft to it, which contributes to the feeling that these arenas are tight battlegrounds. And there's a fancy parry animation that never gets old. The fighting is likely to be a point of contention in the game. Some will appreciate its dramatic style, while others will prefer more complexity. In reality, one's battle approach is unlikely to vary throughout the game, but that doesn't make the clashes any less enjoyable. For me, Ninja Theory's attempt to bring movie-style action to an interactive medium made each encounter exciting. I wish there was more combat. With such intense combat in the major opponent engagements, it was expected that Hellblade 2 would have some dramatic boss battles. Unfortunately, while the inevitable gigantic encounters have some of the game's most striking visuals, they aren't particularly mechanically fascinating. These segments are consistent with the game's concept of breaking cycles of violence in that they are not confrontations, but they are just a game of red light, green light, with minimal interactivity. Between fighting and cutscenes, dialogue, Senua's saga, Hellblade 2 includes some light puzzle solving. There's nothing challenging about traveling between a few places, but there are some interesting visuals in these puzzle segments. The symbol matching challenge from the first game returns, but it's less tiresome than in Hellblade 1. Overall, many of the puzzles feel more like a stumbling block to the next plot beat or combat encounter, and they never quite equal the stunning visuals that accompany them. Hellblade 2's linearity, like its riddles, will be a point of contention. Exploration is encouraged in the game, with a few deviations that either lead to a collectible or a dead end. And for the most part, players will spend a significant amount of time following a predetermined path. The game uses these stretches to intersperse discussion between Senua and her companions, or to let the inner monologues run free. But it's here that the game comes closest to being a walking simulator. Because of how visually amazing the game is, I didn't mind going through the environments and noticing all of the design work on exhibit, but some may want more dynamism in the traversal. Senua's Saga, Hellblade 2 goes all out with a unique story. Complex concepts, high quality graphics, excellent sound design, and snappy animation. However, in attempting to design a cinematic experience, the game may feel less interactive and more prescribed. Combat is gritty and violent, although it isn't as involved as most character action games. You simply go through the motions when solving its puzzles, even if they are graphically appealing. Moving from point A to point B provides little more than the option to keep moving forward. If you weren't a fan of the previous game, the sequel is unlikely to convert you. That being said, there is nothing else like Hellblade 2 on the market, and that alone kept me engaged the entire time. Its paired-back features may not be mechanically complicated, but they give the story pace, making it difficult to put down. Ninja Theory tackles difficult and unusual themes in games, set against a backdrop that alternates between epic and intimate. Senua's Saga, Hellblade 2's approach, may not appeal to everyone, but it is the closest thing to an interactive film we've seen so yet. That being said, this video is smoked, so hit the like button. If you like this video, please leave a comment and subscribe to view our following videos.